Aren't the two different sides crazy? Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about no makeup, makeup, makeup. <laughs> if you happen to be new to my channel, welcome. I'm a freelance makeup artist and licensed esthetician based out of Los Angeles, obsessed with simplifying beauty, making it quick and easy, and sharing all of my tips with you guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you're a makeup artist or aspiring makeup artist and where you're based out of. I love hearing all about y'all too, and let's get into it. All right, you guys, I just hopped out of the shower and today I'm gonna be using the Le Maquillage palettes. Now, I carry quite a few in my kit. I have the Rescue palette from Terry Tomlinson and then I have three different complexion ones and one for blush and lips. I will be pulling in a couple other products that I'll show you in the demo, but I find that these are just so beautifully pigmented. The color tones are really unique and they sit very well on the skin, like it looks just like skin. Just a quick note, if you do happen to have a heavy hand, make sure that you have a sponge on hand. Sponges are great as a makeup eraser to just kind of knock anything down. Even sometimes when I'm doing a beauty makeup or a glam makeup, if I take a step back and I'm just like, that just looks just so makeup and heavy. Sometimes I'll take this or a little bit of moisturizer or sometimes both and just kind of take it down a notch or two. And sometimes that can really help just make everything look just very natural. Another hero product of my no makeup makeup makeup. Oh my gosh, this needs to be a drinking game every time I say makeup. If you're not drinking, get some water, stay hydrated. <laughs> um, my other hero is the Flesh Tone Color Wheel. If you are a makeup artist and you do not have this in your kit, go get yourself one. She teaches workshops online. She has workshops out of her studio and she's been traveling all around the nation teaching the ways of the color wheel. <laughs> um, this is such a great invention and I'm gonna show you why when we get into the demo. So the palette that I'm gonna be using on myself is the Color PP01. Um, it has quite a few different colors in it and I find that this is great for fair skin. When you're doing a no makeup makeup, first you want to assess the skin and take down what you notice first. So like on me, we've got my beautiful dark circles. That's quite distracting. Also this redness around my skin is quite distracting. So I wanna be able to knock those down without it looking too makeup-y. So first let's go ahead and start with the darkest part, my biggest distractor, this dark circle right here. Now if we go to our color wheel, ding, the most of the color underneath here is quite blue, right? This darkest part right here is blue. So the opposite side of the color wheel is going to be an orange corrector. So I'm looking for a corrector in this palette that has an orange undertone to it. And that is gonna be this guy right here. Usually I use a wax paper palette, but it's in my kit, which is packed in my car, which is far away and it's cold outside. So we're just gonna use my hand, um, although it is better to use a wax palette just because the white will help you see color better. So let's go ahead and take a little bit of this orange tone now, you'll notice that I'm gonna be doing the makeup with quite a small brush. You don't need a big brush to cover your bases. You really wanna work in small areas. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna pop this right underneath and you'll see the magic here. So this is a wax-based fard cream is what it's called and I've carried it in my kit for probably three years now. If we needed it to be a little bit of a stronger corrector, something with a little bit more orange to it, then you can mix an orange into it. And that's why I love carrying the Rescue Palette because you really have flexibility with this to create whatever color you want to. So there's still a little bit of darkness now, but if you'll notice, it's more of a purple darkness right out through here. So I'm gonna go in with a yellow corrector. That is gonna be this guy in the palette. So I'm gonna take this yellow corrector and pack it where there's a little bit of the darkness still showing through. So we know that yellow corrects purple, but we also know that there's a lot of red in purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it right across the lid just to kind of neutralize some of this redness and brighten up that area. Now it's okay to leave a little bit of darkness in a no makeup makeup look. So even though I'm still kind of dark underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the complexion first and then if I need more coverage, I'll go back at the end to add it. It's always better to kind of work in layers as opposed to just slapping it all on at once. 
All right, now I'm just gonna mix up a little bit of my skin tone using the Rescue Palette. I'm gonna take some white here. And you really don't need a lot. I remember when I first got these, I was like, they're so small, I'm gonna run out of product so fast, but you just use so little of it. I'm gonna take some yellow into that. Just a little bit of red, a little bit of blue. And then we're gonna mix that together and hopefully get something close to my skin tone. <laughs> Oh, not bad, not bad. And we really don't need that much of it. All right, I'd buy that. It's a little bit more yellow, but that's okay because we're gonna be neutralizing the redness on my skin. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into this. I'm gonna hit it on my nose first. You always wanna hit where there's the most amount of what you're trying to correct first. And I have a few videos on color theory, so if you're not sure where to start or you're like, holy rip, what the heck is happening here, then definitely check out those videos. I'm just gonna mix up a little bit more of my foundation, and if you need help with this, flesh tone color wheel, guys, you can always fact check it. You can actually put product directly on here to see how close you are, and it's awesome. I'm not really too concerned with knocking out all of this redness because I am gonna be adding a little bit of redness back into it. I always think, you know, kind of one of the most fun things about makeup is it's how much can you do with the least amount of product? And that's really when color correction and color theory really comes into play. All right, let's go into a little bit of blush. This is such a great palette. It is the color number MA13, and I'll link all of these in the description box, so definitely check those out. Let's see here. So usually when I'm deciding blush, you do kind of want to pay attention to the natural flush of the skin, so even sometimes before I start an application, I'll mix all of my colors up on a palette, so that way I have it to reference, because if I had covered my whole face with this redness, you wouldn't really be able to see my natural tones, which has quite a bit of purple in it. So let's do something a little bit softer. Now I am also looking at my eye color, seeing what's gonna be also flattering, and taking into account my lip color too. Now, lip color isn't always guaranteed because some people can have really pigmented lips, but on me they're not as pigmented, so we're fine. <laughs> So let's go ahead and mix a little bit of this with just a hint of this, maybe a splash of that to neutralize it. Okay, I got a little too excited. I added a little bit too much of the bright color because I wanted to. <laughs> so let me bring it down a little bit. And you still want to make sure that it's a flattering tone too. Okay. So you can apply this with your fingers. Now, sometimes with the blush, it is nice to mix a little bit of oil or moisturizer in it because you really want the skin to have kind of like a healthy look to it. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a moisturizer here. This is the Belief Aqua Bomb. I'm just gonna mix it together and we'll just put it on with my fingertips. That is taking way too long. We're moving to a brush. <laughs> and really, I'm working with just the smallest amount on a brush because I really want to have all the control. You never want the brush to control you. You are always in control of the brush. Just a little bit of healthy pinkness in the crease of the eye. Is that just crazy? Like, look at that difference, guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna pop just a little bit. Let's see, it might be too pink, let's see. I think I'd buy that. And I am gonna just put a little lip balm on. <laughs> Although that is something you wanna watch out for because you don't want the lips to be too shiny. So sometimes I'll like hydrate my client. Obviously this is mine, that's why I'm using it straight on me. But um, sometimes I'll hydrate my client and then right before we go in for a take, I'll just blot it down with a tissue so that it doesn't look like ding. <laughs> Next I'm gonna do a little bit of brows and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush mine up and see what we've got here. You don't really wanna make it look, but even just look at the difference between my brushed brow and my non-brushed brow, it really makes such a difference. So I don't wanna make it look too makeup-y, but I think I will take a little bit of my gel. Now this is my personal gel, that's why I'm using it. Anything that I'm using direct, assume that it is mine. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take a little bit, oop, right in the front. This is already, pretty full of brow hair, so I'm not even gonna worry about it, but I will just take a little bit right through here just to thicken it up a little bit. This is when tinted brow gels really come in handy. 
Now that my lip balm has settled in a little bit, I am gonna go in with a lip liner. This is Dervish from MAC. It's probably closest to my natural lip color. I'm just gonna take a little tiny bit and just correct my lip line. Because I don't have the strongest lip line. And you see the difference that makes. And if it ever gets too much, just go to your sponge or go to a paper towel or a tissue and just kind of blot it off. All right, next let's go into the lashes. Now I'm not gonna put on mascara, although I know some people do use brown mascara, but what I am gonna make sure to do is curl my lashes. And usually I'll ask Talon if they wanna curl their own or if they prefer me to. My sister clamped my eye when we were young, so it's always been <laughs> a touchy subject. <laughs> So usually I'll just ask people whatever they're comfortable with. So now that I have my lashes curled, I'm gonna go in with the Melanin palette from Sean Richards London. And I'm probably gonna go in with the color Alec because it has a bit of a purple undertone to it. So it'll bring out like kind of the green cold flex in my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with a little fan brush and I'm just gonna hit the ends. You can also tin the lashes too if you have time. And I'm just gonna take a sponge and just run over everything. Can you guys see the difference here? It's crazy. All right, there still is just a little bit of darkness that I just can't shake. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of pink still. I just wanna try to knock out just a hint more of that darkness. And so I'm just using this shade right there. And Ah, oh, so much better, okay. <laughs> when in doubt, color theory, guys. Now, at this stage, I would probably take a step back and analyze the face and see what else it needed, but as a quick little bonus, I'm gonna just take this little color right here. It is a just a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, and I'm just gonna highlight a couple places just to add a little extra. So I'm gonna take a little bit right in this inner corner just to kick it, we're just playing with light, right? I'm gonna take a little bit right underneath the brow. Ooh-wee, here we go. I'm gonna take a little bit right through here. Take a little bit right through here. Oh, it makes such a difference, right? I'm gonna take a little bit right here. Oops, that went too far. Oops, and I didn't get enough little coverage on my little zit here. Be gone. Take a little bit of highlighter right on this outer. I'm using a bigger brush. I don't have time for that. <laughs> right out through here. And then in the same respect, you can take this cool tone right in here and use a little bit of that if you wanted to sculpt the face a little bit. So I'll just take a little pinch of that. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a little like fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'll just take a little bit ah, right in there. a little bit right up here. Just a little bit right here. Bam. <laughs> a little bit right through here. I can't tell if that redness is me or if it's product. Nope, just me. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all, and that completes my no makeup makeup look. Aren't the two sides just absolutely crazy? <laughs> so this is the kind of face that you would want when the character is asleep or just getting out of the shower. Um, instead of this, which is real life, you want this, which is TV happy makeup. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below what other makeup artist videos you would like me to create. As always, there are more tips and tricks on Facebook and Instagram at Makeup by Shannon Marie. I'm gonna go take this side of my face off and then go to bed. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.